Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were uh, butsing around uh, the old Mormon fort, trying to find the person we have to talk to about taking Eddie uh, and learning some new info out of him. Info that I can't currently get out of him. And uh, here she is. Well, kind of. You can't see details of her right now. Uh, April Martimer, who. Uh, is the one who I'm supposed to be talking to about letting the followers learn from Eddie instead of having the Brotherhood learn from Eddie. Because, uh, quite frankly, frankly, blah, 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 the, uh, the followers would use the info for much better uses than what the Brotherhood would be doing. So, I'm going to let the Brotherhood take, uh, take a little break on doing stuff because I've been doing shit with them for at least the last few episodes. And, uh, gonna be using the followers. Thank you for coming. Let's talk about that robot. Yes, let's. What would you like it for? I've heard through our channels that it has some research that may be related to Enclave and Poseidon Energy Technology. You're right. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get what I can from it and use that data for the good of humanity. All of humanity. Unlike the Brotherhood. True. That's true. They would probably use it for themselves. Uh, what are you gonna do with it? First, I'm gonna pull off whatever log data I can. Uh -huh. Then I'll use some of the tech around here to upgrade its weapon systems. Oh, you don't have to do that. Be more than but a that'd few be nice. Days work. A few days? Okay, you can take it for a little while. I don't need Thank to ask you. any of the other questions. I'll get it back I already to know you the as soon as I can with the upgraded weapon systems. Alrighty, sounds good. You have lost Eddie's enhanced sensors perk. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. I don't think I was supposed to glimpse the last end of that. Uh, it was supposed to be black the entire time. Or at least too black the entire time. She's a ghost! No. I think that's what they were trying to avoid. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, yeah. Now that we've done that, let's, uh, go do the Eldorado power... S Actually, you're supposed to do President Kimball first. Before you power up the Eldorado substation. Is that to make it easier? Or is that just because that's the way they'd like it to be done? Hard to tell. Oh well, I mean, if that's if that's optional and we can do it before we do the substation, might as well do it. Alrighty, and then we have the other quest, which is you'll know it when you see it. I think that's what it's called. You'll know it when it happens, okay. Uh, report to Ranger Grant. I assume that's the uh, actual NCR mission for uh, doing the protection of uh, Kimball. Probably. Alright, now, with that in mind, we shall continue on. Raul, close behind me while I do the things. I have a feeling I'm going to get ambushed. It's been a while since we were last ambushed. It's only a matter of time until we're ambushed again. And since we're outside the city, I would not be surprised. Is that... Is that still playing the audio of the city? And I cannot get up there. <laughs> well, so much for that. Alright, well... Uh, a, there's an audio glitch, and B, there's... No way of me getting up there from there. So, I guess I gotta go up to, I guess, this? Go around this way? I guess. Uh, I don't know. Let's travel back to Boulder City. Maybe that'll fix the audio glitch. Eh? Huh? Kind of fixed it. Alright. There goes that. Okay, well, I guess I gotta go around this way then. Get over to where I need to go. I still have a feeling I'm gonna get ambushed. It is a very strong feeling I'm gonna get ambushed. And my headset's acting up, what the hell? Alright, give me a second. That was a noise. Okay, I think... I think it's working semi-correctly now. Um, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get there. 
If I'm not supposed to be taking this sort of path, what? I heard something hit something. No idea what to think of that. Um. <laughs> ha! Huh. Hmm. And my headset's still acting up. Okay. Give me just a split second. And it was at this point that I realized I was completely and utterly fucking lost. I then proceeded to run around the map in this general area for at least a couple minutes, uh, and then eventually realized there was literally no path I could have been taking to eventually get me there in the current place I was at. Uh, at least the way I was doing it. I eventually even tried the lake to then try and get there with the rebreather, but turns out, no, there's a barrier in front of that to make it impossible to get any further than this. So I looped my way to Camp Forlorn Hope, thinking that was a better idea, and I was kind of right. Uh, I took the cliffside here, not realizing that was a bad idea. Tried to shoot at a couple bloatflies here, and that was not a good idea. And uh, then eventually I figured out the cliffside was not a good idea, and I couldn't fast travel due to the bloatflies, so... I ran around the proper flat area, or flattish area, to eventually get to a point where I could see this. Oh, here's a new thing. Maybe I am going the right way. Let's just pop that off the uh, old map here. Maybe that'll do it. Teach us a couple things. And... What the? Oh! Oh! I was going the right way. Wait, I could have... Are you telling me I could have done this from Boulder City? You son of a bitch. Where the fuck was this? When I was heading from Boulder City? Uh. Ah! Uh. Ah! 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 I'm angry now. I'm angry. That is what those noises are. Anger and frustration. And vague amounts of hatred. At this game for being very, very unclear about things that it should be very clear about. Boy. Alright. Well... Here we are, finally. Hoover Dam. After all this time, put my gun away. You're just going to ask me what I'm doing here? No? Okay, you're just standing there to be posted. Alright, cool. Alright, what are you doing? Who are you? It's our ranger. Okay, well. Can I go up here? Hey, here I am at the Hoover Dam proper. Alright, well. Oh, I'm supposed to go. I was actually supposed to go into the center, but they were making me go through this door for some reason. Mm -hmm. Don't understand. Anyway. Uh, I guess the person I'm supposed to talk to is around the bottom side here. I'm assuming and hoping. Oh, you're Those an engineer. Those side thugs aren't worth our time anymore. Well, I mean, to be fair, none of them were supposed to be worth your time. You guys. Oh, you have masks. Oh, that's kind of cool. We've got Hello, a lot Ranger to do Grant. To prepare for the president's visit and not much time. Alrighty. Goodbye. Bye. Whoa, what the f The fuck was that? I've heard of you. Okay. You're here to help us out. Yeah. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. Well, I'm we glad you trust me. We've to prepare for the president's visit and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. All right. Are you ready? I'm all set. I have some questions, though. Ask your questions, but keep it short. I'm going to try. Uh, can I use my weapons during the visit? We trust you, so you're free to have your weapons. Just don't do anything too crazy, and we'll back you up. All right. What are your security arrangements? Security detail consists of rangers stationed here at the dam. Some will keep an eye on the crowd while others will watch the perimeter. 
That's fair. Snipers and sharpshooters have been assigned to key locations, and we also have a special canine unit sniffing out members of the crowd. All right. I've also locked down access to critical locations, such as the landing platform on the visitor center. I'm going to need access everywhere. All right. I'll give you full access. Eh, hey, thank you. That makes it useful and helpful. Both, really, at once. Uh, do you have a detailed schedule for the visit? I have a full itinerary here. Here you go. Thank you. That makes it easier. Do you have any leads on possible security threats? The Legion will definitely try something. We don't have any solid leads yet. All right. I'd almost expect something direct from them. But given the circumstances, there's a possibility of something more subtle, like sabotage. That's true. But since we don't have anything solid, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for anything out of the ordinary. Well, I mean, Kaisar's dead, so they're probably desperate. At best, they're probably going to try something as a combo of both. Something slightly subtle, but at the same time, just completely out there. Uh, what can I do to help? Someone like you. I'm just glad to have you on board. Mm -hmm. Do whatever you can. Security sweeps, talk to people, keep an eye out. Uh, of course. Done with if questions. There's nothing else, then let's get moving. Yeah, let's do it. Good. The president doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Alrighty. I guess we're just skipping time. It is day of now, I guess. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. All right. We've got a busy day ahead of us. I'd say. So what's the plan for today? The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. Good luck with I'll that. I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. Well, as long as it's we're doing that. It's a good that. bet that the Legion is going to try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. That's fair. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. Well, we could avoid doing the visit entirely. That would... that would help. Let's get the show on the road. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Alrighty. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long. Wasn't planning on it. Oh, jeez. Alright. And it decreased because I took a drink from my, uh, canteen, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Let me double check. All of it went down to zeros. Well. Who'd have thunk that? It's a little odd. But all right. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Allison Valentine. Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben, and he's an engineer. Ben. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the president's speech together. But he hasn't shown up yet. Um, I haven't seen him. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. Still no luck finding my friend. You better show up soon. Yeah, here's hoping. Uh, can I open this without people getting mad? This crowd's... Fucking as hell on my back, boss. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but right now we kind of need to do it, so... I hope you can suck it up for at least this little short time. Um... Uh, Nothing really special in here. Alright. So, Ben the Engineer hasn't shown up. It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Yeah, I can't blame you. Stairs to Hoover Dam. Weird that it wouldn't let me go up there properly. Uh, you're an NCR Ranger. You just kind of phased in out of nowhere. Alright, well... You're an NCR trooper. Let's look around, you guys. Private Jeremy Watson. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Mama always told me not to talk to strangers. But you seem like a nice person. Well, thank you. Mama left me on a farm when she went out prospecting. But when she never came back, the owner didn't want me around. Kicked me out on my own. Oh, jeez. A nice guy came up and asked me if I wanted to join the NCR, so I did. Now the troopers are my family. I like it here. Everyone is so nice. All right, what do you know about the president's visit? He's coming to give a big fancy speech to all us troops stationed here at the dam. You I'm have pretty a very excited. southern he accent. He's like such a nice guy, and I get to meet him. He's giving me a medal. Really? I don't know why, though. 
I'm just doing my job like all the other guys. I'm still excited, though. Well, I'm sure it's for a good reason. Bye-bye. All righty. You uh, better get out of here. Whoa. You better get out of here. Whoa, guy. I'm just checking on things, all right? No need to be hostile, okay? Yeesh. Good God. That was unnecessary. All right, well... Let's uh, keep checking on uh, troopers and everything else. That uh, one guy, Ben. Private Jensen. You're clear to go on through. Well, thank you for that. That one guy, Ben, is a bit of a worrisome aspect. Because if he's already missing, that means someone might be assuming his identity later. Let's climb up the ladder, go up here, nothing. Alright, this is the same spot I left from. Alrighty. Left, more leapt. <laughs> All right. The ranger vets looked at me, and I just about surrendered. Yeah, you probably should have. You have still no luck finding my friend. He better show up soon. Yeah. Yeah, he better. It's worrying that he isn't. Alrighty. Uh, supply closet. Should probably check in here. But the all oh. pool of blood, a bloody wrench in a toolbox nearby. Someone was killed here recently, and judging by the scene, it was one of the engineers. Should keep an eye out for an engineer's acting strangely. That would be Ben. That had to be Ben. There's no way it couldn't have. Okay. Who are you? The, the fiends are running for their lives. That'll show everyone what we do to our enemies. Uh huh. That seems a little suspicious there, buddy. You're the one that killed Caesar, right? Yep. Everyone has a buzz about Oliver arriving soon. That must mean the battle's close. The fiends are running for their lives. That'll show everyone what we do to our enemies. Hmm. All right, let's see what you have. You don't have nothing. Okay. What about the other guy? Ooh. I'll take that. Huh, you don't have nothing either. Okay, well, I figured if I was going to check pockets, that would probably be the quickest way. Um, power plant number one, huh? Maybe I should go down here and check it out. This would be where the engineers are, for sure. I sure hope I get to meet President Kimball. Well, here's hoping. Here's hoping he gets to stay alive during the visit. The control box is locked. Oh, engineers are down there, maybe? That's the offices. Huh. Nothing I can do down there. That's a visitor center that I just came from, I'm assuming. Nope, nope, same door. Okay. Stairs down here. Oh boy. That was weird. <laughs> I'm assuming that was a. I'm assuming that was Raul. Yeesh. Hello. Huh. So the engineers are around here. Maybe if I keep looking around, I can find engineer that seems to be acting oddly. Who are... Things are getting stranger every day. Hello, oh, yeah? youngster. Welcome to my baby. Oh, is this your baby? Why do you call this place your baby? The power station, the dam, they're my babies. Well, don't tell my grandchildren I said that. <laughs> Anything in here that I haven't rebuilt, I fixed. I see. I've been here since well before the first battle. 
I've ground my knuckles on so much cement in here. It is nearly as much me as it is cement. That is fair. Whoa, you are looking intense there, man. Tell me about the last battle. I was down there for most of it, so I can't tell you much of what the boys with the guns were doing up top. From talking uh, to the boys that were fighting up there, I can tell you that Hanlon managed to pull off what most people would have thought impossible. Uh, what do you do here? I'm the head engineer. I make sure the okay. turbines keep spinning and the water keeps pumping. That's fair. How's the uh, dam running these days? Been better, been worse. When I first came here, there was but one turbine spinning. Oh. At one point shortly after the last battle, I had six of them spinning. It was a wonderful sound. Oh, I bet. Only four of them are running right now. Yeah. What's wrong with the other ones? A little bit ago, one of the intake towers got clogged. Uh. No water running through it anymore to spin the generators. One of these days, I'll get some boys out to the turbine to get it running again. But right now, it is pretty low on the priority list. All right, that's fair. Bye. Let's see you later. I got to talk to some of your crew because one of them seems to be uh, dead. Very deadlid. Hey. Although it seems to be male, so females would be off the list. Because it has to be someone who's able to take the place of a male engineer and not provoke suspicion. Okay, so, um, we're a little over time right now, but at the same time, I kind of want to look to see what I've filled out on the quest. Meet Ranger Grant on the observation deck, but I haven't even gotten that far yet. Um, is there a, uh, is that in notes? Could that be in notes? Ah, uh, it's in notes. Okay, cool. Scheduled to arrive via Vertibird from California. The Vertibird will land on the top of the visitor center where uh, Colonel or Colonel fucking fucking brain <laughs> not wanting to cooperate with me today. We'll meet the president and escort him out onto the stage. After a brief introduction by Colonel Moore, the president will give a speech. The speech will only take approximately four minutes. During the speech, the president will award a medal to Private Jeremy Watson for his service to the NCR. Oh, that's where the medal comes in. Once the speech is over, the president will be escorted directly back to the, through the visitor center for, to his vertebrate for immediate departure. In the event of an emergency, the speech will be canceled and the president will be rushed to the vertebrate for immediate departure. If there is a problem with the vertebrate, a room on the second floor of the visitor center will be used as a safe room to keep the president secure until any threat is over. Access to this room has been restricted and Colonel Moore has the key in her desk. Alrighty. Good to keep that in mind. I'm heading to Gamora next time I get some time off. All right, that seems pretty normal. All right. Just need to keep walking around until I find someone who's not being normal. Oh, this is the lower level, huh? Well, okay. So, this is probably going to take a little while to make sure I find... Whoever is not acting normal. The Legion would have to be insane to attack this place. Hamlin's pretty legendary. People talk about what he did at the first battle of Hoover Dam with awe and respect. Well, yeah. The NCR is fortunate to have your support. Anymore. Huh. I've heard that Securitrons are nastier than ever. Yeah. Yeah, they are. All right, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. We are quite a bit over time, and quite frankly, I have very few leads. Very few leads other than a uh, engineer has been killed and someone's probably taken their place. So, for right now, I'm just going to end the episode and we'll just see where it goes from here. Uh, mainly because I have no other, no other leads to go on. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all... In the next episode, it helps if I go to the right fucking place. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and, well, trying to figure out what I can do to help these guys as best I can, uh, considering that Kimball's probably going to be assassinated if I don't help the best I can for you.